Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, warm, welcome. And if you are liking it, just comment, share, and subscribe if your heart desires. Give it a big thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you do. And I thought I would go ahead and give you this today because I was really, really lazy yesterday and just um, totally forgot. I try to do them on Saturdays, but you know, as long as I get one done, exactly get one done um I really really like how this turned out today so I thought I would go ahead and do um a video for this and I do have one newer item that I will share with you um pretty sure I have everything out in front of me here uh, yeah I do do I do? Um, I took a good bit of time on my face this morning because I wanted to make sure that um, everything was tweaked the way I wanted it. And I am seeing one little thing that is really starting to annoy me. I do not have a um, black gel and this is a brown black. So um, I'm kind of, you know, like um, trying to um, just deal with what I have until I get paid again. Maybe that's uh, one of the best ways of dealing with, you know, the fact that, you know, I get paid weekly now instead of bi-weekly. In the beginning, I was thinking, you know, it's like, oh great, you know, that's, that's gonna suck. But you know, it's like, oh well, you know, Things that we deal with, holy cow, I, I'm pull, starting to pull out um, my little shrugs, um, little like, um, like, almost like little sweater tops and little tanks to go underneath it. Um, I just, it's the only way I'm comfortable. I don't know what it is. We did step out for a few minutes. My husband wanted to go uh, grab like a couple of like uh, bottles of Coke. Uh, we can't live without coke in the house. I mean, I'll admit it, I'm addicted to soda, which is bad, but you know, um, it's, it's okay. I took the liberty this morning of trying something a little bit different. Um, I'm so known for, um, warmer colors anyway, but you know, I decided to try something that I hadn't done in like quite some time, so... Um, I poured out a, um, Shella. It's a, um, I think these are, um, part of an Ipsy box collection, possibly. Um, I thought I saw these, like, in Ipsy collections. Um, it's the Hello Beautiful, and this is the Lovey Neutral palette. Or what, how they pronounce the French palette. If you, um, can uh, speak the French and if you do speak the French bonjour um, it's been quite some time since I've uh, spoken any French I only took like two years of high school level French um, owed to the Hollidaysburg school system who is now um, trying to think my friend said they now offer Italian which is kind of cool. They should offer a Russian, which um, might be kind of helpful since you know there are a lot of those um, different kinds of languages being spoken nowadays. Might be helpful. Um, I really took my time on this today and I was watching a program on my iPad while I was doing this. So I was like, you know, I'm watching a program and doing my makeup at the same time. It's like, yes, it is possible. So um, I'm gonna pull out a few brushes here. I wanna make sure that this is a good, concise video for you. So you can kind of see, you know, what the heck I'm doing. I got a new one, my old one broke. So I did go and get a um, new e.l.f. brow comb and brush. Um, because um, 
I really have no need for a spoolie. Maybe at some point I might, but um, whatever. Whatever it may be. When it comes down to complexion makeup, um, I have a skin tone that can kind of, you know, pretty much take anything that's like fair to medium. I can do some medium tones. Um, I have a, um, more like a, a cream from e.l.f. And this is a peach tone. This is a medium more on the peachy side it's um it's a nice one and i have used it with like peach toned makeup which i did yesterday just because i felt like it some some i don't know what it is some days i just feel like wearing makeup i mean if i want to wear makeup seven days out of the week i will i mean there's there's no rule with it. Why can't you? Most of my family thinks I am crazy because I wear it constantly. It's like, don't you let your skin breathe? It's like, sure, sure I do. Um, there are days, um, well, nights, <laughs> because I take off my makeup at night and I sleep with no makeup on my face because that's not good. Um, along with this, Yesterday, I used this, the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Peach Natural. But um, today I used the Maybelline, Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. And this one is in light number three. It's kind of a natural ivory, I think it is. I think that's what it says at the bottom. Yes, it's kind of hard to read. wee little fine print is not real good for me. Um, certain light I can, but um, just a, I'll go like one, two, three on dots on the back of my hand, and that's probably as much as I will ever need. I, depending, you know, on you know the um, makeup that I'm using, because some of these have um, either dope with applicators or don't have an applicator at all. I just apply it with my fingers. And I am okay with that. Usually my hands are clean. Um, and nowadays, we do have to be careful because of COVID. I mean, it's not as much of a problem anymore. It's still floating around out there. It's just not so much of a problem. Thank goodness. Um, although it depends on who you talk to. Where did he find that? Huh. Oh, I think he's been cleaning the car and the truck like crazy today. And I have been in here dealing with the laundry. My daughter makes so much laundry. When I do laundry, it's like 90% of each load is hers. I don't get it. I just don't. Um, I powder only certain areas of my face and when I use a powder I like um, I usually have like something that has some talc in it they say right now that talc is like really really not good for you but um it doesn't scare me it doesn't several people on the internet or search engines or whatever um and please don't go looking for my um instagram anymore it's not there i got rid of my instagram um this is the airspun boost face powder i only ever powder anymore like around my nose around my area right around the mouth area right there because that's where those are areas where your makeup can move with facial expression and 
usually that's a good sign that you need to powder only certain areas of your face especially if your um, face is just a little if your skin is a little bit drier if it's a little more on the oily side you might need to powder your entire face it, it just depends it depends if you're an oil slick you might need extra powder if you're an oil slick and you live in florida for instance i mean believe me you're gonna need it i live in pennsylvania and occasionally we do get some humid spells you know and get kind of like feeling a little bit sticky it's, it's terrible. I don't like the humidity. I mean, I can deal with hot to a certain extent. I can deal with like high 70s into the low 80s. That's, that's as much as I can deal with. I mean, I am not, you know, really a hot weather person. I mean, I was born in March for goodness sakes. I mean, and March is one of those months where you can still get snow. figure that one I do powder my eyelids and only because my eyelids I think are the only thing on my entire face that do get just a little bit oily and once I powder there it's really really good start for um, a little bit of a base for my makeup this is the uh, Shella the Hello Beautiful. This is the La Vie Neutral Palette. Um, according to the French rules, palette. And using this peach color, where it appears like, like an off-toned, almost like a peachy brown, like right through here, just to really transition a brown because I'm coming down here eventually into this little shade of brown right here and I'm gonna go ahead just to touch this up just a little bit I am so glad to be done with Instagram it just was getting ridiculous really really ridiculous no thank you okay I'm gonna take a little bit of this of this chocolatey brown I'm gonna look kind of somewhat upwards into a little handheld mirror just to get a little bit of deep shading and just a little bit of depth. It's right in this area right here, like right, almost like you're going into your crease, but you're technically going right above the crease. Tip your head back just a little bit so you're looking straight into little crevice right there you want to stay clear of this area right here because in that corner between the bridge of your nose and the eye that kind of needs to stay clean or if you are going to eventually take a highlight there I mean and there's a really really pretty champagne highlight right at the top there and it's it's a really really beautiful highlight really enjoy working with this little thing. I'm gonna go ahead and clear my brush off. Use a little bit of that highlight right there. I love this brush. Um, I got these from a yard sale a couple years ago. These are really, really nice light comb brushes. I'm going to hit the top of the brow bone right in here you do not want to take it too far into the inside because it eventually just gets lost 
and um, last. <laughs> It's straight up, looking like straight up there because you're looking skyward here to get the um, the arc and not taking it any further to in here. Actually, what I need to do is taking just a little fine brush and just you now cleaning up that edge. There we go. It just got a little bit of wonky looking because it didn't um, quite fill in the way it should. And since this is real close to the color that I use of my brow kit, this is a brown black eyeliner from Wet and Wild. These are the um, Mega Last, and they don't have these anymore. That is kind of like a older version, but they have that little blend tip at the end there, so you can always use it, you know, to just you know blend that edge. And you can use use these for your brows or you know for eyelining. You know, it's it's kind of multi-purpose kind of thing. So, um, this one right down here is kind of like a pressed glitter. Um, so I kind of used my finger for this one. It's like a very small edge of my pinky. I use the mirror in front of me just to it in there because those pressed glitters are really really super messy and um, since this was what I was using earlier pull that back around use this one just to take the edge of it and kind of take the edge instead of going straight in like this take the edge Most of the skill that I get from this is um, from my mom, my nan. She, uh, they taught me a lot um, with makeup growing up. It's amazing. And if anybody remembers those Lucky magazines, I used to read them while um, in between uh, laundry loads at the laundromat. I am so glad we don't go to the laundromat anymore because it has gotten seriously expensive. I am so glad we don't do that anymore. It's just crazy. Um, when I started lining, I took a little bit of this one to line the top and used a little bit of the brown dark brown in that palette just to smudge it together a little bit and also to use a little bit of this one this is an Alme and this is their intense eye color it is the one in brown topaz number two Using this just technically on the bottom and also mixing that with the brown and creating a nice smudge with a proper smudging brush. This one is from e.l.f. should still be able to see the writing on it just a little bit 
I use it a good bit, so it's kind of smudged off. We're not looking for a clean look here. This is uh, more of a smoky, smudgy effect, so it's gonna look a little smoky, smudgy. It's kind of romantic looking, you know, makeup a little bit. Um, when I did I go through brows? Pretty sure I did. Um, I used the um, Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. It is in dark brown, number 498. Just fill in those brows and use the um, the wax, you know, to keep them the way you like them. You can always use another product, and this is all uh, the Benefit Gimme Brow in Brunette, you know, just to uh, take over them and just to seal them, technically, just to seal them. I'm probably repeating myself, and I do apologize. I used my Maybelline falsies. Um, I did crimp my lashes and used a good bit of the falsies. This stuff is amazing. Um, look at that brush. Just a little bit. Just a little bit extra, anyway. I mean, these brows were lashes. Anyway, not brows. Lashes. Um, just as much as you think you need. If you want to go nuts with it and get those lashes looking the way you like them, go for it. I don't do the bottom. Like ever. Just not my thing. I have it. Just run that comb through there. I have used several different methods over the years to um, kind of contour my face. And on my old channel, I kind of had at least two videos that kind of explain how I used to contour my face. But, um, I do use the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick, and this is number 752A in medium to tan. I kind of did it the old way, the way I used to do it. Um, I usually come through here. This time, I came from here the whole way down and around. Kind of showing off that nice elongated with the tail at the bottom. Kind of gives you that nice illusion of really super high cheekbones. And I have high cheekbones to begin with. I have um, Norse in me, like um, Scandinavian. Us Viking chicks kind of have to kind of, you know, like stick together. If you've got it, you've got it. Show it off. Um, just um, highlight and contour where you think you need it or where you want to either show it off or however you like it. But um, make sure you're good using a good quality contour stick. Um, the one thing I wish I could change is my nose structure. Even though I know I can't. I just come right in here and blend the line and blend it up against the edge of the bridge of the nose, like right in here, and then blend upwards. I taught my daughter how to do that, and she's like, hey, it's like having a new nose. I'm like, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? 
He's like, yeah, this is cool. Yeah. So uh, what I did is um, just to set those areas, I used a physician's formula, uh, healthy word bronzer. And because it's more of a matte bronzer, it's um, more of a more of a fair tone. This is in light, just to set those areas to keep keep it from moving a little bit. Um, let me see here. Just I'm gonna use a fl big fluffy. Mr. Big Fluffy here. This is a, um, a long home. Mr. Big Fluffy here. And let's see here. And let's see. My clips. Just push things back a little bit here so you can kind of see what's going on. You got here, here, underneath the chin. If you're trying to, you know, get the idea of, you know, like trying to thin down uh, the heavy chin look, or you have a um, heavy looking face, or the idea of a double chin, push it down this way a little bit, and then a little bit to the forehead. As long as you're sealing those areas with something, or even if you bake, you know, um, I don't like baking. Just does not seem to do much for me. Um, using a quintessential um, I know it's an elf. The angled brush little bit of my number 20 in sunshine. It's a Rimmel bronzer. I love Rimmel products. It's taking it ever so slightly through that curve. It pulls out the um, structure right there number one and it also gives you um, that nice sunny glow so you're getting your definition and also getting that beautiful sunny healthy glow it's a nice idea though. just a little bit to the forehead any place else you think you need it I only go technically where um, a lot of people say take it where the sun technically hits you. I use the Revlon Skin Lights, number 201 in Daybreak Glimmer. You can use your fingers for this. Well advised, they need to be clean. You keep the clips back there because you know, this will get in your hair if your hair is down take a this is an LA colors I believe yeah it's all smudged off just a little bit right over the top each I love this fan brush my daughter keeps you know wanting to try it and she says you gotta give me a fan brush I'm like we will see about getting you a fan brush She's really, really starting to get back into the makeup thing. <laughs> I haven't heard from her today, so. Spends more time with that boyfriend than she does with her family, which is bad. Um, a little bit on the chin. Into the center star right there. And right into Cupid's bow. To finish this off, and um, take these clips out. 
I had a couple options here. I would have used what I used yesterday, which was uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills in um, Soft Touch. And this is really, really pretty. It's a beautiful, um, very pale, pinky, um, almost like a pinky beige kind of, you know, it's, it's so different. It's, it's very different. Today, I used an NYX. These suckers were down like to $1.50 when I started grabbing them. Or $2 or something. This one is in um, silk. It's a um, very um, beautiful golden peach kind of. It does very, very well. Um, this thing that I purchased and couldn't wait to show you, it is in LA Colors. These are new and approved. Um, three color eyeshadow. This is in Water Lily. This is my first time actually opening and touching it. My hands are clean. Um, let's see here. I think there's a piece of tape here. Those are really, really pretty. It looks like a cream, a um, kind of a mystical um, pink rose, and that um, dusty, um, kind of like a mid tone rose, kind of like something that um, would be good for a. Like a gray toned mauve. So yeah, I've got the um that, that creamy, that linen shade. I have that gray toned mauve and that pinky copper. And I think I'm in love. So yes, we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. I was technically after um, getting a uh, new eyeliner, but um, when you go to the dollar store dollar store. It's like, you know, usually most of the eyeliners there, um, I don't like. So I'm just going to wait till I can get to Walmart to be able to get, um, another wet and breakup proof. This is, uh, the, um, the ultra black, the, um, the liquid eyeliner, the one, the, the little felt tip kind of. And I am um, thinking that is it. So thanks so much for turning back and I'll see you in the next one. Love you all so very much. See you soon.